so far. Not won a race so far. And here's your current race leader, not your net race leader at the moment, Enzo Fittipaldi, still doing a good job on these soft tyres, old soft tyres. He will have to come in for his mandatory pit stop at some point and change to the super soft, but uh, keeping fairly consistent, as we see, Tá bom o pãozinho, Enzo. É muito bom. Você já comeu? Ah. Alright, tá bom. Yeah. Foi. Foi. Mais de 5 anos que eu estou jogando basquetebol, né? Você está aqui? Não, não, é para você. Eu não vou forçar você. I might go, I think I'm gonna go in. Feels good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be careful, Enzo. I am. I'm gonna just stay right here. Yeah. Woo! How nice! Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. That's how quick it is. <laughs> be careful, Dean. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. How cold oh, is that? Let's go. Let's go. This is proper cold. Yeah, it's cold. Good luck. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Right. Okay. What do you mean? Taste your like I Really? Yeah. I'll take one. There should be bananas there, right, Dean, at the track? Yeah, these should be spent on ice and gloss. Cousin once removed of Christian Fittipaldi, who is Emerson Fittipaldi's nephew. Yeah, it has to be true. Yeah. You just got out the car, you won the race. Very nice, though. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I 
Pretty important day. Set up our weekend. It's basically oatmeal with a bit of dark chocolate. Good. I tried to do it I'm joking. There's water in here. This smells like Alba Grace still. Huh? Still smells like Alba Grace. Holy fuck. Matt, you think this is is this water or is this elbow grease? <laughs> it's just water, but it's still smells of what was in there. What do you want it to do? Just to spray my face. Yeah. Dean just drank from that water. Yeah, he just water, it's water, it's water, No, it's not, it's not. It's it's just lime in it. There's, yeah, there is. There's something extra. Yeah. Don't worry about stuff like that. <laughs> Training like a beast. Whoa! Yeah, okay. Someone has been working out. I know, I know. Oh, I told you, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that is cold. Oh, you're making me cold if I laugh. <laughs> you said no, it's not that cold. Yeah, I said it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's not straight that much in. water though. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, straight in, straight in. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's almost overflowing. Man, this is freezing. Fittipaldi, who's not too far behind now, here he is across the line, he's gone purple, purple, and jumps to the top of the times. So encouraging stuff for the driver who was second here last year, and uh, was over the line, only half a second behind the winner. So he'll be hoping to upgrade that, still chasing, he's maiden victory in the championship. Face the sun. Face the whole thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Side, it, that side, the right side. side, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I'll wait for you, alright? Oh, yeah, come on. Dang, why are you going in? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna like put my head in. I don't want to go fully in. Not, not now. <laughs> driver that's within track limits as he comes over the line where can he go in the order he moves back to second place fantastic lap under pressure even better from victor martin running slightly wide and then that really ruined the lap of fittipaldi and uh, i think for fittipaldi that is going to just see he was too wide on the entry into the corner there was only one direction he was going to be heading and that was into the gravel so huge frustration for fittipaldi does he collect our camera? The answer is yes. Hey everyone, so Friday finished here in Austria. We were, uh, we leaded the, the free practice, we were P1, and then in uh, qualifying, we ended up P6. Frustrating because, you know, we had very strong pace in the first set, we were P2. Unfortunately, both my laps got deleted for track limits in turn nine. Um, so yeah, going into the second set, we were basically dead last. Uh, so I only had two push laps. I was under pressure, you know, to get a lap in. So my first push lap was very conservative, uh, especially in the last sector. Uh, so yeah, we did the 14-9, which put us like six, seventh, and I was saving everything for the second push lap, um, improving. Uh, but unfortunately, Daruvala went off in front of us uh, and we had to abort the lap. So, yeah, finished qualifying in P6. Um, getting in the van now. But, yeah. At, at, at the end of the day, uh, still, you know, P6 is a good position. Uh, you know, for both races, we'll be starting P5 tomorrow and 6th in the feature race. So, you know, we're in the fight for good points and uh, a podium as well. Looks like rain today, Adin. Did you think? <laughs> Did you think? Yeah guys, so I, here at the beginning of the race, it um, started raining a little bit here before the sprint race. We decided to go on slick tires. Majority of the cars are on slicks, but there's like five or six, uh, maybe more cars on wets that are risking for, for a rain to come after the start of the race. I don't think it will come, but you never know what can happen. So let's see now the race, I think we made the right choice. position.
position now. Hajar getting through. It's where it's been for Fittipaldi. Fittipaldi spinning on the straight and the Brazilian driver dropping out of the points down the order. He seems not very happy with somebody. Sector two, yellow flag, of course, this is for this instance. So I wonder if he's been forced on the grass. That's on the way down to turn four. Grass there. I wonder. I don't it's think... the right hand side, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's have a let's have a look on board again. We're on board with Fittipaldi, uh, who was fighting his way up against Kush Miney. So that attraction now. And we go on board with the Brazilian driver. There he is on the right, on the grass. Round he goes, and thankfully avoided by the drivers behind. Uh, there's a, yeah, there's only one person to blame for that, I'm afraid, and that is Kushmani. He's. <laughs> Yeah, the guy just has center from the other side. That is uh, Cordiel, very, very close with Fittipaldi. And in the background, Miney hanging on to fourth place, doing trying to go the long way round, but that path is blocked. Will they all get through there? They will. And it's uh, a good move for Halga, who comes out on, back, on top. Three-car battle on the way through there on the first lap of 40. Vesti with the lead. Yep, so we'll have a little look now of a replay of Fittipaldi trying to get his gains further up the field go past Daruvula heavy on the brakes uphill braking zone does he get that car stopped yes he does long race here 40 laps on the board and it's up to fourth place as the battle of the rookies is resolved Martin's way at the moment but look at the tire performance of the soft now for Fittipaldi not a contest he's on the right tire at the moment the driver dropped down after contact with the driver that he just passed yesterday already up into third position but there is flashing up on my timing screen, Alex. There's lots of trap limits are popping up. So here on board now, see the replay. I'm guessing he's going to hook left. He does. DRS wide open. And the move will be done, completed before. And there we go. There's your answer, Alex. Right on cue. Vesti into the pits. Crucial stop ahead now for a driver who has controlled the race since he took the lead in the opening metres. And he now brings it down to the speed limit. So far, not won a race so far, and here's your current race leader, not your net race leader at the moment, Enzo Fittipaldi, still doing a good job on these soft tyres, old soft tyres. He will have to come in for his mandatory pit stop at some point and change to the super soft, but uh, keeping fairly consistent, as we see. For the difference in time between Vesti and Duan, 
Uh, we'll see in clear air. Last time around, uh, there was a four tenth of a second difference. Vesti struggling on the tyres. We've, we've been waiting to see what condition they're in for Fittipaldi. They don't look great, but they're working effectively for the Brazilian driver out front. And all the while, so one Dams comes to a halt as the other one leaves the pits, and that time penalty for Vesti has been rescinded. Haven't seen that before. Virtual safety car is out. You may not make your mandatory stop. No, I wonder if there was an issue with fitting the wheel there, because as he pulled on the grass, there we go. Yeah, so wheel has come off, ah. so that'll be a hefty fine. It will be. For dams. Virtual safety car, that's very good. That's very good. Yeah. Bottom, bottom, bottom. And uh, virtual safety car is out, so Fittipaldi, for sure, they were dreaming of a full safety car, and they've got it. They've got a full safety car, and here is the reason why. So look at the rear left, and he's actually put his hand up. So it's the rear left as we looked at it. It's a rear right that has made a jump. So here's Ollie Behrman's view of what happened. So we're and heading you can to see already. Oh, you see the wheel nut flying off. Oli Behrman was lucky that that didn't bounce back into his way because you already see, luckily for both drivers and all drivers, wheel nut flies off and so does the wheel off into the gravel. So we will see Fittipaldi, he's been called on, called into the box. So high pressure now for Rodin Carlin. They need a very, very clean stop here if they want to help Fittipaldi try and get his first win so the field is uh, is bunched up so in comes Fittipaldi pulls to the inside great stint probably the best stint we've seen from Fittipaldi he was on the podium for the first time in in Imola last year that was a great drive on his way to P2 uh, but this has been superb shuffled down the order after contact yesterday can, and then you're looking to the safety car line. You're looking to where he comes out in relationship to uh, his push push now as much as possible. You want to be out before the safety car line, and Fittipaldi is going to provide us with so much action. He knows it, and Fittipaldi claims uh, the place. And uh, remember your rule book there. They filter back in. So that's why he pushed on to that white line that was painted over the circuit, because that's how they saw the positionings out. Are under the safety car and Fittipaldi is going to light up the end of this race on the super soft rubber. Yeah, so this is also going to help. Man, I can't believe it. The driver in P5 should have the most grip here and he's proving it immediately. He's fighting his way to the inside. For sure he's going to be the driver to watch and there is the early move. I imagine it'll be the first of many. Fittipaldi on the charge as well. Fittipaldi must have caught things at the wrong time and track position because he got shuffled behind those who were on the alternative tyre. But he is absolutely flying out there. So as you can see, easy move now. Sorry, Alex, for Fittipaldi going past his teammate into turn one. He is indeed, and uh, making the way through, taking the place, so Wasser up to fourth. Oliver Behrman is going past the car that he really didn't expect to be racing on lap 37. Oliver Behrman rescuing his weekend, and this is massive for the British driver, who started today fourth in the points battle, and there's action all the way through the field here, as you would expect with those on the super soft tyre, managing to make their way through, and Fittipaldi's trying to follow by as well against Martins. He'll have better traction when he stands on the throttle, and he does so, and makes his way by. So Fittipaldi up to seventh position, and if you're on old soft tyres, you're getting swallowed up here, and that's exactly what happens. Still, Vesti doing a phenomenal phenomenal job to maintain the lead here on those old soft tyres. As he tries to drive, his bait, brave to go down the inside of nine. Need to be patient, get the DRS down this main straight. But at the moment, we are what? Disqualified last year, redemption for the Dutch driver. Richard Vashaw crosses the line for a spectacular win to deny Awasa Van Hammersport Racing, a winners in Formula 2 for the first time. The crowd are cheering.